I've got it. <laughs> Lift. See some belly fly yeah. right there. <laughs> hey everybody, Kyle here with Spicer Designs. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, stupid. And welcome back to the barn build out. This is part two. If you have not seen part one, I will leave a link in the description. So today's video, we're gonna be working on getting all of this inch and a half foam insulation board in between the girts on the walls. And then we're gonna use some 7 16 OSB sheeting to go ahead and sheet in between the columns. And then we're gonna get started on the loft. So let's get it up. Now what we're gonna be using for foam insulation board is this Poly Pro. This stuff is four by eight sheets by inch and a half thick, which will fit perfect in between those two by four girts. Now I picked this stuff up from Lowe's for like 19 bucks a sheet. The R value on, damn stink bugs, Fers. Now there's an R value chart right on the sheet here. It only goes up to one inch for some reason, but the one inch has an R value of 6.65. And according to their website, the inch and a half has an R value of just under nine. And we do already have half inch foam insulation board that they put over the girts and then they sheeted on top of that when they built this barn. So we're gonna have a good two inches of foam insulation board by the time it's all said and done. I've seen this on Hometown Acres. Adam used this when he was doing his barn build out. Uh, I had this thing for probably a good five, six, maybe even longer than that years. And I've never had an issue with it, never got it clogged up. I've never ran a cleaner through it. I just always make sure I have a cartridge hooked up to it. Now these cartridges you can get from Home Depot or Menards. They are kind of expensive. They're anywhere between 15 and 20 bucks, but they last forever. I mean, they just like never run out. And the great thing is you can plug this thing in use it for a couple of passes and then don't touch it for six months. You can come back and it still works. Just put a little bead right in between that seam and then I'll take this piece and slide it over and kind of smoosh it in between there so it gets a real nice tight seal. All right, we are back here on day two. Last night I went ahead and got all that foam insulation board finished up. I use the spray foam gun to foam all of the joints. And I like to use a hacksaw blade because it's flexible and it's got fine teeth on it. And I go around and I cut all of the excess foam out of all those gaps so I can get it nice and flush with the wall. So today we're gonna start sheeting this thing. I got some 7 16 OSB. I got some two by tens. Where the f did I put my laser? Now when I put this OSB on the walls here, I'm gonna be using this laser. This thing's really handy. I've had it for a long time and I use it for all kinds of different applications. So I'll be using that laser to make sure that everything is leveled up. That way everything goes together nice and square. Makes the job a lot easier. And like always, I'll have links in the description. What is this thing? All right, a little change of plans. The original plan was to start building the loft, but these little bastard mice got into that wall over there and they ate the shit out of all the insulation. Also had some termite damage in there on a couple of the studs. I'm now going to continue on demoing this bulkhead wall. I'm going to demo the whole other half, which will now open it up to the other garage door bay over in this sector. I'm sure that you probably can't really tell which way we're orientated in here. I don't really care. Now this is just one of those things that happens when you're renovating or remodeling an existing structure. You just never know what you're gonna get into. You start opening things up. One thing leads to another. Next thing you know, you're demoing the whole damn building. Unfortunately, in order to demo this wall, I have to rip out my cute little workbench over here with all my shit piled up on it. It's got a lot of sentimental value. Actually, it doesn't. I really give two fucks. All right. Let's get to getting. All right, I got this whole bulkhead, all of the OSB ripped off of it. I wanted to try to save as much of it as I could. 
but there was some termite damage to it and I had to basically rip the heads of the nails through the OSB so it pretty much destroyed it. But let me just show you some of the termite damage here. Right here, they pretty much destroyed that stud and the one next to it is also pretty bad off. Luckily, the truss for the barn is still in really good shape. It hasn't been touched by any termites, so that is good. Being the way I am, I think I'm going to end up ripping all this crap out because they did a shitty job on it and the wall isn't quite perfectly level in a couple of spots and the way they notch that out up top there around the truss is very inconsistent so there's a lot of waves in the OSB so probably just going to rip this shit out, start fresh and do it right. me running we got a serious problem here I basically ripped the entire bulkhead wall out because it was so shitty and now I wanted to start reframing the new wall over here on the side of the gym where the gym is gonna be so I could start framing this loft but the way they did the ceiling joists in the gym area now is basically pushing the truss out of alignment, it's shoving it over, so when I build that wall, it's not going to be quite level and straight and everything's just out of whack. I really wish this thing could be gone with just a snap of my finger. Oh, damn it. Oh, I didn't think that actually work. Well, I guess it's time to start framing. We are finally done moving backwards, got this wall reframed, and it is straight as a fucking arrow. We can start moving forward again and finally get started on the loft. And we will be seeing the Keystone Girl out here in a little bit. She's going to give me a hand putting all of the floor joists in once I get all these headers done, because I know you're getting sick of seeing my ugly face. <laughs> All right, I got the headers up. They're glued and screwed. What's so funny about that? <laughs> <laughs> it rhymed. <laughs> I got the layout done. All the joists are cut. Crowns are marked. And we're ready to start framing up the floor joists here so we can get that sub floor on. And I got my lovely assistant here. What's your name again? Keystone Girl. Whatever. Called. So she's gonna help me hold up these joists while I nail them in. And um, hopefully I don't get sidetracked. <laughs> Put them in a tool belt, don't be getting uh, all turned on. <laughs> all right, you want to do the nailing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. 
See the arrow? The arrow means up. That's where the crown's at, you know what I mean? Well, you know what the crown is? The crown, like crown molding. It means that the board's got a slight crown in it, like a curve. So you wanna put the curve part up so that when the weight sits on it, it'll force it down. If you put the crown down, then it's already got a sag in it, you know what I mean? Yeah, I gotcha. Look at you learning, little carpenter. Little Keystone <sighs> Carpenter girl. Lift. Oh no. my God. I'll fine tune it. I usually do it by my damn self. You got it over there? <laughs> Just waiting for you to come by. I'm going inside to grab a snack. What are you doing? I'm sweating. I don't see it. Carpenter bee right there. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Is it dead? Well, I don't know. I didn't check its heartbeat yet. <laughs> uh, today. Oh, I forgot what I was doing. All right. <laughs> we I'm tangling the cord. <laughs> the hose. No, no, think about it. There you go. You got her? Yep. <laughs> that what? one got me. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. Hold on. See my arm? Oh, it's on the pole. <laughs> We need to dust these off. <laughs> no. I'm not kidding. <laughs> hey, that's part of working. <laughs> yeah? Yep. Damn it. <laughs> Sweating. Then you go What's down there. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you smoke it. You're very distracting to have out here. Sorry. <laughs> The hose is all twisted. It had a, a big knot in it. When I, you are dusty. I see some belly sweat yeah. right there. <laughs> Someone getting a little warm out here. <laughs> oh, this has got some weight to it. Yeah? Let's look at the juices flowing. <laughs> I need to go through. I do. And fine tune all these motherfuckers. You took the ladder from me. Sorry. I really hurt myself. Good landing. So as you can see, this is a pretty good example of why I like to work by myself. But it was nice having someone holding those joists because they are kind of awkward to hold by yourself and nail in. So that is gonna wrap it up for part two of the barn build. We got the bulkhead wall removed and reframed right. Got the loft built. I still have a couple loose ends to wrap up on the loft. Now I'm not gonna bore you with any more framing videos on this. The next video you see on this barn build is probably gonna be when we're doing the electrical in here. I'll have everything framed and hopefully have some of this shit out of the way and up in a new storage loft. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you wanna see more of this build, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one. I'm spent. Thank goodness we have insurance. Jeez. Yeah. You got a bulge there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> right, I thought I was operating the saw. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Oh, you say some stupid shit sometimes. Let's get to work. I don't touch on the job. You're pushing me out of the scene here. Okay. Oh, I just got dust mm. all over here. Ah. Where do you want it? And just tuck it in there? <laughs> I don't want to get sweaty. It might. These things tickle me. These things, I think, it's like a bug on me. I'll let you, boy. You gotta, you gotta spice it up. No, you really don't. <laughs>